Hey everyone, Tiny Sonic here, and welcome to another episode of Why Is It? In today's episode, I will be talking about why FNAF 2 is a good game. I realized that I messed up some things up, I messed some things up in my analysis of Golden Freddy and FNAF, and FNAF 1, Why Is It? Um, retrospective. He, uh, he appears in the 2B camera, not 4B. He also is the only animatronic to have two souls. I believe I said this in, like, just in the video, like, not, like audio just like visual i said this um and that being evan afton and cassidy sorry for that now on to the backstory of fnaf 2. backstory so fnaf 2 had lots of hype for it because it, of the popularity of fnaf 1 that was brought on by youtubers playing it such as markiplier i really recommend this playthrough of it it's very entertaining it actually had teasers for it, unlike FNAF 1. These teasers contained things like showing the toy animatronics next to the withered ones, how withered Freddy looked, and the mask mechanic. But for some reason, Mangle and Foxy's teaser had FNAF 1 Foxy instead of FNAF 2. Withered Foxy, just, just a non-fact. FNAF 2 didn't really inquire back like FNAF 1 did. FNAF 2 came out about 10 weeks after FNAF 1 on November 11th, 2014. Characters now, this will be the, probably the longest list of characters in the FNAF Why Is It video until FNAF World. I actually found a description site about the animatronics, so it's more official and you know, a bit more explaining things. Withered Freddy Withered Freddy is my favorite FNAF character. I love his design so much. Otherwise, no, He's otherwise known as Freddy Fazbear, Freddy, and Old Freddy. His gender is male. Description Freddy is one of the four withered animatronics. Uh, excluding Golden Freddy, and is no longer needed for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza as Toy Freddy has taken its place. He is now used for parts. Gameplay Freddy will generally become active during Night 3, but is still quite inactive. He will become more active as the nights progress. Freddy will start in parts and services on Camo 8, and will not leave until Bonnie and Chico have left. From here, he will stand in the main hall, Camo 7, near the girls' restrooms. Next, he will move into Party Room 3, Camo 3, and will sometimes move back to the main hall before going into Party Room 3. He will move into the hallway outside the office. The next place he will appear in your, is in is your office. You will see him there when you lower your monitor or Freddy forces it down. You need to put it on the Freddy Fazer head immediately when you see him there. If you delay or neglect to put on the mask, you will be killed. If you succeed in putting on the Freddy head in time, Freddy will go back to part in services and repeat his cycle. Withered Bonnie. He kinda cool. Missing a face. That sucks. As well as an arm. Poor guy. He is known as Bonnie, Withered Bonnie, and Old Bonnie. His gender is male. Description Bonnie seems to be in severe disrepair. His face and his left arm are missing. He can be seen with his bow tie clipping through his bottom jaw as seen in the custom night menu. The main hall, Gambo 7, the office hallway, and the thank yous image seen on scottgames.com. It's no longer up there, but yeah. Gameplay Bonnie. Becomes active during night 3 and onwards, Bonnie will start in the parts of services room, camo 8, and will always be the first one to leave during nights 3 to 6. He will then be visible in the main hall, camo 7, where he can be seen standing in the doorway of the parts of services room. Then he will move it into the hallway in the front of the office. Sometimes he will appear here with Foxy. Next, he will move into part room 1, camo 1, or heading into the left air vent, camo 5. Then Bonnie will appear in your office and you lower your bonder or pulls it down. You must, you must appear, immediately put on your Freddy head when this happens, or else Bonnie will kill you. If you see to put it on the Freddy head in time, Bonnie will go back to the main hall and will beat his cycle. Withered Chico. Apparently, the first child killed was stuffed in her. Definitely possessed by Susie. Known as Chica, Withered Chica, or Old Chica. Gender, female. Description Chica appears to be in a state of disrepair, also. Her top and bottom jaws are greatly separated, and she lacks hands. Gameplay. Chico will become active on night 3 and will become more active as the nights progress. She will start in the parts of services room, camo 8, and will be the second one to leave on nights 3 through 6. From there, she will make her way down part rooms 4 and 2, camo 4, camo 2. She, then she will go through the right air vent, camo 6. She will then appear in your office, similar to Freddy and Bonnie, the player must put on the Freddy head to avoid being killed. Delaying or neglecting to put on the mask will let the game over. If you succeed to put on the mask in time, you go a little back to party room 4 and repeat her cycle. Withered Foxy. Never really been killed by him. He isn't too much of a problem. Just flash your flashlight in the hallway and avoid Balloon Boy and you'll be fine. It's not that hard. People go crazy about him. It's not that hard of a character to, to go against. Known as Foxy, Withered Foxy, or Old Foxy. Gender. Male. Description. 
Foxy has also fallen into a state of disrepair. He is the most unique of the old animatronics in the way that he attacks. Gameplay Foxy will start becoming active on night two and become more of a challenge as the nights progress. Foxy starts in parts and services. Um, it is not visible until he makes his way into the hallway in front of your office. When he is there, here, you must flash him with your flashlight. One Foxy will result in a game. Oh. Toy Freddy. Gamer. He is a gamer as proven to ultimate custom night. Otherwise known as Toy Freddy, Freddy, and Freddy Fazbear. His gender is male. Description. Toy Freddy is one of the five of the new toy animatronics. He's the main animatronic in the establishment. Gameplay. Toy Freddy will start to move on night one, although he is quite inactive. He'll become a bit more active during night two, but will become a lot less active during nights three and four. He'll then become a lot more active during nights five and six. Toy Freddy starts on the show stage, which is Camo 9, and is always the last to leave during nights one through six. He will then move to the game area, Cam 10. From there, Toy Freddy will progress to the hall outside of your office. Then he will move closer to your office in the same hallway. Here you can put on your Freddy head to drive him off. If you don't put on your Freddy head, Toy Freddy will appear in your office after you've lowered your monitor or Freddy has pulled it down, similar to the old animatronics, you know, except Foxy. You must put on the Freddy head if you delay to do, uh, delay, or do not put on the Freddy, delay, put on the Freddy mask, Toy Freddy will kill you. If you succeed to ward him off, he will go back to the show stage. Toy Bonnie. Daco hates him and I don't know why. Guess he was a problem for him. Like how? He's one of the easiest to deter. Otherwise known as Toy Bonnie or simply Bonnie. Gender male. Description. Toy Bonnie appears to be quite different from his older counterpart. He's light blue and looks somewhat feminine due to how the eyelids and eyelashes have been designed. People mistook him for a girl for some reason, just like regular Bonnie in from FNAF 1. Gameplay. Toy Bonnie will become a more active after the night, end of the night, one phone call, 2 a.m. ish. He's also active on night two. He's not active on nights three and four, but becomes more active during nights five and six. Toy Bonnie will start on the show stage and will head to party room three. Then he will travel through party rooms four and two before proceeding into the right air vent. If you spot him in your right office vent, put on the Freddy head and wait. You should see the light flicker and Toy Bonnie will slide across your screen. He will then appear in party room three and repeat his cycle. If you fail to put on your Freddy mask, you will be killed. Toy Chica, probably the most sexualized FNAF character. There is a certain very popular render of her currently named Love Taste Toy Chica. You can either guess what it's like or look it up for yourself. I wouldn't recommend it, but I let horny people be horny. Known as Toy Chica or simply Chica. Gender, female. Description, Toy Chica looks a lot more feminine than her older counterpart due to the eyelid and eyelash design and the shape of her body. She wears a, a bib that reads Let's Party and a pink garment. Gameplay Toy Chica will be active during nights 1, 2, 5, 6. Toy Chica will start at the show stage and will be the second to leave, nights 1 through 6. Then she will be found in the main hall with her eyes her beak. Then she will progress through party room 4 and then she will appear in the hallway outside the office. From there, she will head into party room 1 and the left air vent. Then Toy Chica will be visible in your left office vent. When she appears here, you must put on Freddy mask and wait until the vent banging can be heard. If successful, Toy Chica will head back to the main hallway. The Mangle. Apparently, says to be more child friendly. Well, that isn't true anymore. Also, how can kids pull apart an animatronic? Dang, these things were built poorly. Maybe, maybe the fox in the fourth closet from that book, or could just be Funtime Foxy. No one will know until the graphic novel comes out. Known as Mangle, the Mangle, or Toy Foxy. Gender. Yes. Scott said this. I believe the fox head is female and the endo head is male. That's just my theory. Description. Uh, oh, oh, see, I told you you wouldn't have any problems. Did, uh, Foxy ever appear in the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Like I said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in Kid's Cove uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together at the end of every shift. Eventually, they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh... All right, that was Phone Guy's Night 3 call on how expl explaining how mangle works. Gameplay. 
Mangle will become active on night two and become more aggressive as the nights progress. The useful thing about Mangle is that he she leaves a loud static noise where he she goes. Mangle will start in the Kid's Cove, which is Cam 12, and will progress to the Prize Corner, which is Cam 11. Then Mangle will go into the game area, Cam 10, and Mangle will head down the main hall and the hallway in front of your office. Then Mangle will head into Party Room 2 and then to the right air vent. Then Mangle will be found in the right office vent and will emit a loud static sound. In this position, you must put on the Freddy head to avoid Mangle from getting into your office. You must wait until the static goes away and Mangle will return to the main hall where he she will repeat his or her cycle. Failing to put on Freddy mask will allow Mangle to get into your office and wait on the ceiling. Mangle's attack is fairly delayed, so if you are on 5am, don't quit. You may still have a chance. Balloon Boy the most hated animatronic beside Dee Dee. Dee. I don't get why. He's never been a problem for me. He's never stolen my batteries or before, so I guess it's just me that kind of likes him. He's the only two animatronics to be in the FNAF books, I believe. Both in the Twisted Ones and Gumdrop Angel, Sukui Circuit Lucky Tag, which I am currently reading. Known as Balloon Boy or BB, gender male. Description Balloon Boy is the only toy animatronic that an older counterpart is the only animatronic that does not kill the player in the second game. He is the only human-like animatronic. Gameplay. Balloon Boy starts coming active on night 2. He starts in the game area, which is Cam 10. From here, you'll hear him saying hello, hi, or he, will, or he will just laugh. Now, he will not be visible on any camera. He will say hi, say hello, or give a few more times until his greeting, flash laughter, and vent pain can be heard at the same time. Then he will be visible in the left air vent. Next, he'll be in your left office vent. You must put on Freddy in the head to avoid him. From being successful, keep the mask on until you hear vent banging. If you succeed, Bibi will head back to the game area and his cycle will repeat. On the other hand, if the player fails to remove the Freddy head, Balloon Boy will stand in your office, laughing at you. All lives will be disabled, meaning that Foxy is bound to kill you because he still has batteries. Withered Golden Freddy. He kind of chill animatronic, not too much of a pain, there's less of a secret because you can actually control his AI in the custom night and like in FNAF 1. He actually could be the one that. In that one phase of Friends book I talked about in the last episode, but who knows? Could have been regular Golden Freddy, but yeah. Also possessed by two souls, the souls of Evan Afton and Cassidy. Known as Golden Freddy or Fredbear. Gender male. Description. Golden Freddy appears to be a much older version of Freddy Fazbear. It is unknown whether it is an hallucination or an actual animatronics. Reasons to sort being an hallucination, he usually appears as a disembodied head. He fades away, reasons to support it being an animatronic. Fritz Smith, who you play on, as on Night 7, can tempt with Golden Freddy's AI. Gameplay Golden Freddy appears on Night 6. You will either see him slumped in your office or a giant disembodied head in the hallway. Slumped in your office, you must put on the Freddy head as soon as you see him. He will then fade away. Failing to equip the mask in time will result in the game over. Giant head If you see him in your hallway when you flash your flashlight, do not flash him again. Pull up the monitor and wind the music box. The Puppet. Jocko calls it the Puppet for some reason. Possessed by Charlie. No, not the Charlie from the books. Actually, we don't know that. Because the one in the we follow in the books isn't even Charlie in the books. It's just a doll in a human mech called Charlie. Mmm. Known as the Puppet or the Marionette. Gender unknown, but people think it's a girl because Charlie. Description: The puppet is going to be haunted by the crying child and the take cake to save for the children in the Save Him minigame. Uh, some believe the puppet is female because Charlie possesses it. Gameplay: To prevent the puppet from killing you, you must wind up the music box. The music box winds down faster as the night progresses. When the music box is close to running out, a yellow warning sign will appear in the bottom corner of the screen. When it runs out, this warning sign will become red. At this point, you will have a few seconds to wind up the music box again before the puppet escapes. If you fail to keep the puppet contained, the Jack in the Box music will play, aka Pop Goes Weasel. Puppet may be visible in the main hall as hallucinations before it kills you. Hallucinations slash secret animatronics. Bear Endo. This Endo doesn't really hurt you, most noticeably used for Withered Foxy. Known as Bear Endo Skeleton, Endo Skeleton, and Endo 02 in FNAF World. Description. Sometimes appears out of the puppet is left the prize corner, Cam 11. The end of skeleton appears in the prize corner in the left air vent, Cam 05. Shadow Freddy. I think that Cassie is such a powerful story that she can manifest a separate animatronic. Like, we can only see Shadow Freddy in FNAF 3 and not Golden Freddy. And we know that she won't let William die, so maybe she used Shadow Freddy? Impossible nightmare, but I'll elaborate on that in my FNAF 4 Why Is It video. 
known as Shadow Freddy and Purple Freddy. Description. Appears in parts and services once everyone has left. Appears in the spot that Bonnie usually in and is in the same slump position as Golden Freddy. If stared at for too long, Shadow slash Purple Freddy will crash your game. Shadow Bonnie. Used in this game and FNAF AR, really is the recolor of Toy Bonnie. People can't pronounce his full name, but I just call him Arcusifax. Known as Shadow Bonnie, Shadow Toy Bonnie, or RWQFSFASXC. Description Shadow Bonnie appears in the office and stared at it for too long, crashes the game. Some believe that this is Toy Bonnie. However, Shadow Bonnie's top row teeth are different than Toy Bonnie's. JJ doesn't hurt to, or do anything to to you. Chillest animatronic, kinda creepy how she just stares at you though. Known as Balloon Girl or JJ. A, a description. Appears in the office under the desk is called JJ in the game files. Paper dolls. They count as hallucinations because they move around the stabbing of FNAF 2. Known as Paper Plate Doll and Paper Bow. Description. It's usually seen in the party room for Camo 4, but sometimes it will disappear from that spot. Sometimes it can be found in the office. Other info on animatronics. Pochik and Balloon Boy. When you're trying to, war to ward Tochika slash BB off, sometimes you may hear the vent bang coming from another animatronic. Make sure you don't get confused, leave your Freddy mask on for 3 to 5 seconds before taking it off. Foxy. Sometimes Fox can be seen in parts and services after all the an other animatronics have left. Mangle. Mangle's movement's path is usually the one above, but sometimes slightly changes. Mangle will sometimes bypass the main hall, the office hall, but will block flashlight, and or the right air vent. Also, when in part room 2, Mangle will sometimes move to part room 1, or heading back to part room 2. Gameplay. So you play as Jeremy Fitzgerald, and also uh, Fred Smith. A night guard in the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, your job is to sit in your office and keep people out of the establishment at night, and to watch over the animatronics. Each night, the toy animatronics come to your office to check up on you. You must wear your Freddy Fazbear mask to fight to keep, from the, to keep them from attacking you, but your mask is not your only protection. Or there's Fox who show up in the main hallway. You must flash a light at him to keep him away. Be wary as Flynn Boy will show up in your office. If you do not wear your mask to ward him off, he will save batteries. This will result in Wizard Foxy killing you, and later nights the other Wizard animatronics, or at least it work the same as the toy animatronics. Just flash your light and wear your mask, it should be fine, but wait, there's another being in this building. A puppet. Wind up the music box or you'll be in for a rude awakening. And that's how to play FNAF 2. Lore. After disasters at the previous locations, mainly for Bris from the diner, involving kids and a murderer stuffing them in the old animatronics, the higher ups at Freddy Faz at Fazbear Entertainment decided to enlist a new batch of animatronics to keep any criminals away from the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. These new animatronics have facial recognition and are state of the art entertainers. After hearing of this wonderful new job in the newspaper, Jeremy Fitzgerald decides to apply to the night guard. As the nights go on, the animatronics seem to get more angry and intense. Eventually, on Jeremy's later shift, some more children are lured into the back rooms of the establishment by a person in a yellow spring bonnie suit. This person is William Afton, the man behind the slaughter and the father of Michael Afton. After these murders, which Jeremy learned during the phone calls, Jeremy decided to mess. Uh, um. Uh, Jeremy. Oh. Jeremy decided to stay after, even though he wasn't supposed to be in the establishment on Witch Night 6. But on the final custom night, Fritz Smith takes up the mantle as the night guard. After messing with the animatronics, Fritz Smith is fired from Freddy Fazbear's for tempering with the animatronics and for odor. The only reason he would be smelly is if he was Michael Afton, which is a very popular theory. The withered animatronics, the puppet, and possibly the mangle are possessed by dead children, but the toy animatronics are not possessed. Keyword not. The endoskeletons and suits are used for the FNAF 1 animatronics, that's why they're possessed. All of the toy animatronics are scrapped after that, but, but that doesn't really matter. The puppet somehow kept the souls of the dead children in the suits. And the buy of 87 happens to either Jeremy, Fritz, or some random person. Most players go to Jeremy Fitzgerald being the bite victim. That is the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Horror. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 isn't necessarily a scary game. The game gets a very loud jump scares, but those aren't too scary. The game revolves around high suspense and stress, as there are so many animatronics attacking you at once that it can be kind of scary. Not a very visually scary game, but still really fun to play. Some people are affected by the jump scares, but I personally am not. Secrets 
most secrets I have already explained in the, the character section of this video. There are many other secrets. Most of the secrets are in death mini games that happen occasionally when, when you die. There are four death mini games that play out exceptionally different from one another. Take cake to the children. Playing as Freddy Fazbear, the player has to take a cake to six kids. Walking to each child makes them turn green, and neglecting them by leaving them alone for too long causes them to turn red. Meanwhile, a child stands outside crying. As the player tries to serve cake to all six kids, a purple car will pull up outside, and William Afton gets out, who kills the sad child. Pretem who appears to stop crying momentarily and then cry even harder when, while this is happening. I guess because of the shock and the pain comes. The sad child will then turn gray when dead. All the all the while, uh, letters are called out, spelling, save him. The player begins to move slower and slower. The player can make all the children grin at the same time. The player will be unable to move and will be forced to watch the children turn red. When the minigame ends, the puppet's jump scare is triggered, ending this minigame. Now, the person outside was definitely Charlie. And I don't know why I said save him. When it should be save. I don't know. It, it's, it was definitely Charlie, as, ex as is better explained in FNAF 6. So, yeah. Foxy, go, go, go. Playing as Foxy, the player has to walk out of Pirate's Cove while the message, go, 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 is displayed. At the other end of the room, the five children are present and fireworks play. The message changes to hooray. The action is repeated a second time. However, the third time, William is shown standing watching Foxy. Now the five children are all dead. The mini game ends with a withered Foxy's jump scare. Give gifts, give life. The player will play as a puppet and instructs the top read give gifts, which is pleaded by approaching four dead children. Once the gifts are all given out and the player returns to the middle of the room, the text on the top of the screen will change to give life. And the player must approach you of them again, resulting in the four original animatronic masks appearing on the heads of the children, implying they are being stuffed in an animatronic suit. All throughout this sequence, multiple letters are called out, spelling help them. And playing them in the game will trigger a golden for the jump scare. Upon close expansion, expansion expect inspection a fifth body may be seen in the middle of the room a single frame for golden freddy's jump scare and that is you know golden freddy or ghastly evan afton yeah you know what i mean save them playing this freddy faz where the player follows puppet into the fnaf 2 pizzeria finding five bodies scattered around all the time letters are being called out spelling save them once arriving in a certain room, the puppet, the game abruptly cuts to static and ends. The player can choose not to follow the puppet instead to receive an identical ending by encountering Golden Freddy at random. However, this, uh, this sometimes results in an abrupt end to the minigame, following the red static, then taking the player back to the title screen, as does hitching any dead bodies. There's several variations of this minigame where the player starts out in different rooms, those being party room 3, the office, and parts and services. These are the same rooms that Freddy can be seen in while traversing the pizzeria. Oh, coincidence! I'll talk about Wither Freddy, obviously. Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, and Toy Chica are seen on the stage in a room near the top of the layout. Mangle can be found in a room near the bottom of the layout, touching it will cause the game to end in red static. Very rarely during this minigame, William Afton will appear at the end of the room Freddy has entered. You will follow Freddy until coming into contact with him. Blue static instead of red will cover the screen, flashing the words, You can't. At the bottom left hand corner of the screen, the game will then shut down. William can appear in various places, including one of the party rooms, the room before the main stage, or the main hall. Trying to run away from him is useless as the player is pushed away from the entrance to another room. The community. The community for FNAF 2 play uh, behave mostly the same as FNAF 1, a couple songs released by popular artists, a few FNAF fan games, and tons of artwork. I personally have done an art piece of the Withered Foxy jump scare. I hate how buff I made Balloon Boy, but eh, it is what it is. This is when FNAF started to gain a huge following and traction behind it. Rating. This is a good game. It has tons of lore in it and is very stressful gameplay. It does get rid of the RNG of FNAF 1, which sucks, but it's fine. My final rating for FNAF 2 is a 7 out of 10. Thank you all for watching this video. Next video in this series will be next Thursday and hopefully a Super Mario World series soon because I just got it today. Maybe soon. Alright. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.